Hey folks, welcome back to Pizza Game. So we're on day five of Chris's route, and I think we have to battle Sav today, so that's exciting or something. I have still have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I mean, maybe we'll um, we'll find some answers, or maybe not. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. That's the intro. <laughs> oh god, okay. You know, let's let's just continue. <laughs> well, howdy, stranger. Hmm, you should use a different voice clip now that we're not strangers anymore. Cause we're actually like best friends right now. Eh? Now, right? What a great start. Uh, sorry, Kyan, but if ev everyone's a stranger in this town. Anyway, I've been here since the crack of dawn securing a perimeter and we're waiting for Sav to show up. I'm so excited for him to die. What time is he supposed to be here? Now... Oh, I didn't expect him to be here so soon, okay. American greeting, chum patriots. What the hell's- Oh yeah, I guess it is cowboy music. I see you have some cowboy music playing. Are we cowboys now? I've always wanted to be a cowboy. Sav. My arch enemy of a couple of days. And the only man I wouldn't consider a stranger. Okay, wow, that's actually really hurtful that you think Sav is more important friend than me. Received my e-card, did you? I did. <laughs> Hoops and yo-yo. Never thought I'd see those names again. Wow, it's been a while. Hoops and yo-yo. Just when I thought the demon chrysanthemum couldn't sink any lower. So, who sent you here? Was it the elusive eight? The what? You know what happened to the last guy they sent, Sav? Fried chicken. <laughs> I turned his family into fried chicken. Mild concern. He called my behavior slimy and despicable. You know what I called it? Winning. Hey, Chris, you're kind of unhinged when you start talking about killing. <laughs> yeah, as Cayenne's parent or guardian, I'm gonna have to ask you to dial it back a little. Maybe stick to the poetry stuff. <laughs> now is not the time to philosophize, Cayenne and Cayenne Thought Bubble. Now it's now is time for action. I wonder, how must your female companion feel to learn all these terrible secrets? I'm right here! I mean you could just ask me instead of calling me the female companion. Yeah, be beware. <laughs> beware of any man that refers to women as females. Okay. Yes, but women are intimidating, you see. Wow, shocker. <laughs> Cayenne may be as stranger, but she's also my- is my friend. A friend who accepts me for what I am. Conditional on sex, of course. Uh-oh. Perhaps she doesn't know the truth, then. The truth? Indeed. Greater demons are not born. They are made. A person becomes a demon exactly one year after an accidental murder-crime accident. I didn't mean it. I sweat her. Oh, well... Chris has already killed or attempted to kill several people in cold blood, so I don't know if this is that much of a startling revelation. Tell me, Chrysanthemum. Who did you kill? Whom? Shut the fuck up, you little squidget. If I wanted a spelling dictionary, I would buy one from the second-hand demon bookstore. It happened five years ago. I was working part-time at the local haunted, haunted houses as an actor so I could scrape off enough money to start up cafe. The house was called The Reckoning. I played a clown in it. His name was Sharky the Clown, because sharks are neat. I had extra sharp fake teeth and lots of makeup. I was all ready for opening night. Everything was all rehearsed. I was so confident, but... As soon as the first boy walked in and saw me, he was so scared he turned to stone. He what? 
Fortunately, the rest of the visitors just thought he was a statue part of the scenery, so we didn't get under arrested or anything. But we had to get rid of Sharky the Clown after that. I was given a bit part as a background candelabra. Still, I can never undo what I did that day. Oh wow, he turned to stone, huh? That's pretty boring. Here I was hoping you might have a latent thirst for blood awoken by an accidental encounter with a wood chipper, which would inspire you to become a serial killer or something. This is just my chrysanthemum headcanon, though. What the fuck? That's ridiculous! Savvy, there are no serial killers in Flordaddle! Not even one! I cannot think of any! <laughs> 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 Don't call me savvy, we are not friends. The scariest part is, eventually a demon takes on the appearance of their very first victim. Oh, is that... So is that why you look... cute? I mean... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to lose my boyish good looks, among other concerns with that prospect. Well then, I know what we can do to remedy this issue. Theatrical makeup and pro- and pre-aesthetics? Tanning lotion? No. We will fight to the death. Well, we have plenty of experience with that, so... Okay. No thank you. Oh shit, 1900? Fuck, okay. Uh, Sabbath Sacks! Still going with the, <laughs> the lamp voice. Ready to fight! What Chris do? Ah, uh, fuck. I mean... Does the, uh... Does the hot sauce do anything? Do we know? I mean, it didn't do anything against Brain. I mean... Hmm. Okay, punch bad... Pu oh, clown! The clown thing makes more sense now, huh? Um... Okay, sorry, I'm back. My phone just started ringing. Okay, anyway. What do we got? So, pun punch bad punter clowns. Oh, yeah, wait, we didn't get to try out clowns because Brain was immune, right? Okay. <sighs> Maybe we'll take a chance. Clowns. Sav experiences clowns. Sav uses double dachshund. Sav Jr., it's sex. Why are there dogs biting me? Ow! These are my dachshunds, my most faithful and fearsome companions. Remelia sex. What Chris do? Okay, that didn't seem to affect us too much. Hmm. You know, maybe, maybe we'll inspect. Maybe. Okay. Folks, don't inspect me like I'm sort of delectable meat. Ah, uh, you is a don't flatter yourself. I'm just poking around so I can get Chris some info so we know how to beat you. What's the deal with this guy in me? Hold on, I'll get you the scoop. Inner me disappears. Hey, I'm back from a future where we lost. Uh, here's a skinny on this skinny. His main move has two attack parts every turn, and each one has a high chance of critical hits. Every time Sav gets a crit, he fills up his Bowie meter. Bowie? As in David? His, his what? His Bowie meter. Once he stacks six critical attack- Attackicals, Sav can use a special attack where he does a dance pose just like David Bowie, music industry, music industry reference. You better be careful, it'd do a lot of damage. We're talking at least three, maybe even four damage. Whoa, that's a lot! Sav can also use Haiku, which will disable your attackage for one turn. But why? Well, Chris needs to contemplate the deepness of the Haiku, obviously. Sav used Double Dachshund. Nadia, it's X. These aren't even the same dogs! I have many faithful companions, you see. Bella, it's X. Okay, so, so that means we have like a limited number. Like, we, we can't let him get to uh, six critical hits? Is that what it was? Okay, well, how about bad pun? That does some lasting damage. We can try that. Oh, he'll for size into new weapons. He's a big sigh. Yes, we, we know. We understand. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Shit, okay. Sav is traumatized by the bad pun. Sav uses haiku. Oh, shit. That disables us, doesn't it? 
Oh, look over there. Haunted pizza game's not real. Help, I'm being stabbed. Sav is upset by the bad pun. Chris is too busy contemplating the meaning of the haiku to do an attack thingy. Sav uses double dachshund. Oh, shit. Orlock attacks for critical damages. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Sung Hyun attacks for critical damages. Sav is upset by the bad pun. Chris finishes his contemplation. Okay, shit. Uh, punch or clowns? I think clowns is worse, right? Maybe I'll try punch just this once? Uh, chrysanthemum punch! Okay, it does, it does something, I guess. Chris punches the enemy. Sav uses double dachshund. Alucard attacks for critical damages. Oh, these names. Tepe's attacks. Sav got over the bad pun. I feel I'm gonna lose, right? I. Uh, clowns again? Or bad pun? Let's do clowns. Chris tries to say the word clown, but it looks like his clown moons are not aligned yet. Wait, what? That's some bullshit right there. Sav used haiku. I I must kill mother. You can't reason with a bear. Do not look for it. Huh? Chris is too busy contemplating the meaning of the haiku to do an attack thingy. As am I. Sav uses double dachshund. Orlock attacks. Oh shit. Tabby's attacks. Chris finishes the contemplation. I mean, what? Ah, oh, does hot sauce or very hot sauce do anything? I mean, it didn't seem to. I don't... I think we're gonna lose, right? And seeing as this is the final battle, I don't know if we have a second chance, right? Like, we could, this could actually just lead to a really bad ending if we don't... win. Hmm. Well, we can just take a chance, why not, you know? Gulp! Oh, nice, okay. Chris eats a bottle of very hot sauce and recovers some HP. Oh no, it is spicy! Chris receives status, spicy! Sab uses double dachshund. Oh shit, okay. The hot sauce is too spicy! Oh no. I don't know if that really did anything. Damn. Okay, how about clowns again? Okay. Clowns. Sav experiences clowns. Sav use haiku. Okay. My father once said, haunted pizza game's not real. That's why I do drugs. The hot sauce is too spicy. Oh, wait, fuck, really? Oh, shit. I didn't realize... Oh god, what have I done? Ah, fuck. Uh, Chris is too busy to contemplate the meaning of the haiku to do an attack thingy. Sav uses double dachshund and fucking kills us, probably. Okay. Yeah, ah, shit. Oh, now spicy is over. Thank god. Now what? We're fucked, right? I mean, literally, like, no matter what I do, I'm gonna- I'm gonna fail. Clowns. Okay. Yeah, of course. Fill the Bowie meter. The power of David Bowie! I unleash it now! Sav strikes a pose like David Bowie. Oh no, he's too handsome! Yeah, we're fucked. Ah! Damn. Oh no! I have zero HP! Oh no! What does that mean again? It means I will be die soon, Cayenne. Oh no, that is bad! Sav is far stronger than I ever would have thought surmised. Thank you, chum patriot. I practice. It looks like I have no choice. Sav, I challenge you to a dance battle. I thought that's what we were already doing. No, that was a regular battle with violence. I want to see your most potent dance moves. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> uh, if that is your wish, then. Prepare to meet your demise. Oh, well, we've been here before. This should be easy, right? Sav begins spinning fastly. Oh no, his super move! 
Oh no! Trick! Chris presses the button switch he was holding behind his back! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Uh, the cafe will self-destruct in 30 seconds. I hope it was worth it. Wait, hold on, what? Wait, hold on, what? Goodbye. Fiend, you know I cannot move for 10 minutes. Once I begin my super dance, I will surely perish. No. Oh. Let's get out of here, Cayenne. Right behind you. Wait, is that it? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck just happened? Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Chris and I run away from the rest that is going to explode a restaurant. Just then... BOOM! A debris hit me in the head face and I pass out. Time skip brought to you by Sasuke Uchihi Uchiha. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, so it's not the end. Huh, what? Cayenne, you're awake, eh? I thought you were a goner. Which would've been bad because that means I'm trapped. What happened? You got hit by a flying brick when the building exploded and we're out cold for three hours. Wait, then where's Chris? Chris? Curse! I run around fastly, looking for him. Chris, are you here? Here I am. Well, yeah, good thing you're okay. Uh, Chris, you're okay! I thought I lost you. No, I am just very good at hiding. I was under these bushes the whole time. Wait, really? Yup, just me and the centipedes for three hours. Why would you- I- I don't even know anymore, I- I'm glad you are awake now, though. It looks like we technically defeated Sav. Yes, let us kiss. Unfortunately, now that the cafe's explosion, I don't have any place to store the last zucchini! That okay, you can leave it with me. Hey, that's a good idea! Oh my god. That just- <laughs> that just broke my heart, fuck. <laughs> no one would ever get close enough to you to see- to see you were hiding the zucchini. Yeah! Wait a minute, hey! Chris hands me the last zucchini. Be very careful with it, Cayenne. Part of my energy isn't there. Uh-oh. Yeah, I figured. You know, that's a lot better than what I thought she was gonna do with it. <laughs> oh, Cayenne, you jokester. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, me! Wait. Is that- is that it? I spend the rest of the evening with my good pal Chris having a big laugh. All in all, it was a good week and a great day! Wait, is this a good ending? I'm confused. Wait, you actually just ate that, didn't you? Yeah, uh, aren't you gonna die or something? Yay. Wait, what? Oh, okay, no! No. That's gotta be the, the vaguest ending we've gotten, right? Did I fuck up, or is that supposed to happen? I don't, I don't even know what to say right now. I don't even... Okay, well, nothing was cleared up. We don't know anything about Sav, or Mother, or, or like anything. Ending 2, medium rare. What's our ranking? Like, I don't even have a prediction. What? No way! How- how the- How the fuck is that an S ranking? What? But like, nothing happened. I thought the best ending was supposed to be satisfying, right? And also, we lost. We lost the battle to Sav. How is that an S ranking? I'm just- I, I'm just stunned. I don't- I don't know what just happened. And also, will we, are we gonna find out more about Mother? Are we gonna figure out what the hell that even means?
like did I have did I have to get a worse ending just to find out like more about the the demon shit because like this might not ever come up again. What the fuck? Okay, fine. Anyway, we fessed up to not paying for the the meal. Okay. Oh, okay. So Plunger saying the meaning of friendship was a thing. It was a good choice, I guess. I mean, I don't know why Lamb thinks we're a cool guy because we didn't really interact with her much, and also I just miss her. Hmm. Damn. What? I yeah, I guess so. Oh, wait! Does that mean we can buy the Cool Guy Dictionary now? Oh, that's interesting. I might have to look into that, okay. Huh, and that's it. Well, that was a lot shorter than I expected it to be. Okay, so... <laughs> I guess we have uh, one route left. Or I guess two, if, um, if Rubit counts. Um, so yeah, Rubit and Keen. Are gonna be the last two, I think. And then... I thought Brain was dateable, but maybe she's not. I kind of wish she was, though. Damn. Okay. Well, anyway. I guess the Chris route's done. And we will start probably Keen's route in the next one, because I have no idea how to get to Rubit, so I'll have to figure that out later. Alright. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.